What's up guys, Name Man here, and we're doing a little different video today. This is a how-to video, and we're going to see how to unfurl, uncurl our cards. I got a pile of cards here, and, and they're all varying degrees of curvature here. So we've got one piece cards. They don't really have the same curving effect that other ones do. I've really only noticed it for specific foil Dawn cards. A lot of the one piece cards that are coming out are pretty clean, pretty straight for the most part. So not really having that same type of curling, but I did notice it specifically with the one piece Dawn cards that were all foil. So I wanted to add those into the mix. Yu-Gi-Oh cards we've got for the list as well. So original old school Yu-Gi-Oh cards, very clean, very straight, don't really have the same curve effects that a lot of the new ones do. Well, at least specifically for the special edition, there was that limited edition set, like the collector's edition one where you got the God cards in there, as well as some of the original booster packs to open. And I'm already seeing some curling take place, especially on this. We'll throw them on the table. You can see just kind of how raised they are in a second. Um, we've got some classic old school original Pokemon. Some of these are extremely curled. Some of the most curled, like you can see just how curved that guy is. This one's slightly curved. So two varying degrees. We'll see how well this works on straightening, especially this guy. Um, got some magic cards. Everyone's talked about how much those will curl and change. Uh, these, of course, from the most recent set, well, not Murders of Carla Manor, but the one before that. Um, so I've got some lands to be able to try to uncurl. Full art, foil, that's one of the one, big ones, and then just kind of a nice foil land here. So we're gonna do a little experiment and see. Before then, I'll show you guys what they look like on the table and then how we're going to actually uncurl them. All right, so you can see a little bit of raisedness, but we'll actually get down here and you can see a little bit more just how much they're actually raised up. All right, so let's take a look at the Yu-Gi-Oh ones. Pretty clean for the most part, just slight bowing, not too bad. So these ones might get cleaned up the easiest. Same thing for our one piece, like you can see just that slight curvature, especially on this foil Dawn that was from the uh, starter deck 10, our Pokemon ones oldest and have gone through the most extreme curvature, especially this Lapras, sadly. Here's some recent cards they have just been sitting on my desk, waiting to be put away, but you can already kind of see the warping taking place with these ones. So let's see how to fix that. All right, so here's the things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some Ziploc bags or any type of seal, resealable bag uh, that'll work. And then we've got these kind of nice new packs to try out. These are the Bovitas 10 pack that I picked up on Amazon. You can see link in the description if you want to be able to use it. These are the 65 percenters here. So these are kind of just a nice way to kind of help with humidity control, right? There's different brands, different types of humidity control packs. Uh, we're going with 65%. There are, of course, varying amounts. You can see up here the scale, sliding scale, depending on where you are located. You might have to have more, you might have to have less. I'm just going with 65 just to see that's, you know, a little bit above the uh, the average or right in the middle there, I think it is. Yeah, so it's like, we're gonna try that. So we're gonna throw one of these packs in each of these bags with the piles of cards. You could of course group up multiple cards in a pack, but we're just, for this video, we're gonna show you guys, you know, two cards with one pack, see how that goes. All right, let's get four of these guys out, just for experiment's sake. We're gonna, of course, do another one that I'll show you guys later with more cards in it, but just to show you just the variations of each of the types of cards. We'll throw some Pokemon cards in here. We'll throw one of our packs in here, seal it up, leave it for a day, and come back and check it out. We'll do that for each of these right now. Okay, it's been 24 hours, so let's see how much, like I can already see 
the Pokemon cards are probably gonna need more time, but the other ones are looking super crazy, significant difference already. So let's see. Yu-Gi-Oh cards are looking really, really straight right now. We'll lay them out too so you can see them all flat on the table. Just how much of a difference that has made. Let's take a look at the One Piece cards. Yeah, already. That's crazy. So again, that's just 24 hours in there. You can put all these, of course, in one bag. You don't have to use one individual packet like I did. But, you know, we were separating them out just to show you you know, for experimental purposes, how much of a difference it makes on each individual card stock. Yeah, that's crazy. And these are just sitting in there like already. So the Pokemon ones were the most messed up, but let's show you. These ones will probably need the most amount of time still. Articuno made a big difference. Or Lapras, yeah, it's like, it was super Pringle-fied before. And already, like, it's still raised, but nothing like it was. We'll put that in there again, but here, I'll show you guys what it looks like flat, too. All right, so here's the One Piece ones. Like, super, super flat. Still raised up a little bit. We could put that one in. But even significant difference that we're seeing. Yugi ones are crazy how much they've changed. Let's see. Even the Magic ones. Still slightly, but that's just just 24 hours yeah that's crazy that's crazy difference so yeah, you can put i can put all of them in there in each little packet reuse the packets for multiple times they're definitely definitely worth it if you're dealing with curved cards here okay it's been 48 hours and well it's the morning after 48 hours but i wanted to show you guys how much of a difference just that extra 48 hours has made on the Lapras. Look at that. That's insane. So I'll put the side by side up here so you guys can be able to see just what it looked like initially, just how curved it is. And we'll put it on the table and you can see just how much that has affected it because that's crazy. All right, look how, look at that. Just 48 hours sitting in a bag with that little packet and it's already flattened out a lot. I mean, it's not, you know, perfect off of this, but compared to the Pringle Fi that it was, that's insane. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching, everybody. That's going to do it for this episode. We are ramping up content, so that means that every single week we're going to either be having gameplay footage, how-to videos, or history videos related to Magic the Gathering. So if you like the content, if this helped you to unpringlefy your cards, share the video, subscribe, do all that great stuff. But that's going to do it for us here. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching, and I'll see you guys next game.